In the afternoon of the very same day that I put the magic finger on the Gregg family, Mr. Gregg and Philip and William went out hunting once again. This time they were going after wild ducks, so they headed toward the lake. In the first hour, they got ten birds. In the next hour, they got another six. What a day! cried Mr. Gregg. This is the best yet. He was beside himself with joy. Just then, four more wild ducks flew over their heads. They were flying very low. They were easy to eat. Bang, 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 bang! Went the guns. The ducks flew on. We missed," said Mr. Greg. "That's funny." Then, to everyone's surprise, the four ducks turned around and came flying right back to the guns. "Hey," said Mr. Greg. What on the earth are they doing? They are really asking for it this time. He shot at them again. So did the boys. And again, they all missed. Mr. Greg got very red in the face. It's the light, he said. It's getting too dark to see. Let's go home. So they started for home. Carrying with them the sixteen birds they had shot before, but the four dogs would not leave them alone. They now began flying around and around the hunters as they walked away. Mister Greg did not like it one bit. "Be off!" he cried, and he shot at them many more times, but it was no good. He simply could not heed them. All the way home, those four ducks flew around in the sky above their heads, and nothing to make them go away. Late that night, after Philip and William had gone to bed, Mister Greg went outside to get some wood for the fire. He was crossing the yard when all at once he heard the call of a wild dog in the sky. He stopped and looked up. The night was very still. There was a thin yellow moon over the trees on the hill, and the sky was filled with stars. Then Mr. Greg heard the noise of wings flying low over his head, and he saw the four dogs, dark against the night sky, flying very close together. They were going around and around the house. Mister Greg forgot about the firewood, and hurried back indoors. He was now quite afraid. He did not like what was going on, but he said nothing about it to Mrs. Greg. All he said was, "Come on, let's go to bed. I feel tired." So they went to bed and to sleep. When morning came. Mr. Greg was the first to wake up. He opened his eyes. He was about to put out a hand for his watch to see the time, but his hand wouldn't come out. That's funny, he said. Where's my hand? He lay still, wondering what was up. Maybe he had hurt that hand in some way. He tried the other hand. That wouldn't come out either. He sat up. Then, for the first time, he was what he looked like. He gave a yell and jumped out of bed. Mrs. Greg woke up, and when she saw Mr. Greg standing there on the floor, she gave a yell too, for he was now a tiny little man. He was maybe as tall as the seat of a chair, but no taller. And where his arm had been, he had a pair of dog's wings instead. But, but, but! cried Mrs. Greg, going purple in the face. My dear, my, what happened to you? 
"What happened to both of us?" You mean? Shouted Mr. Greg. It was Mrs. Greg's turn now to jump out of bed. She ran to look at herself in the glass, but she was not tall enough to see into it. She was even smaller than Mr. Greg, and she too had got wings instead of arms. Oh, 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 oh! Sobbed Mrs. Greg. This is witch's work! Cried Mr. Greg, and both of them started running around the room, flapping their wings. A minute later, Philip and William burst in. The same thing had happened to them. They had wings and no arms, and they were really tiny. They were about as big as robins. Mama, mama, mama! Trotted Philip. Look, mama, we can fly, and they flew up into the air. Come down at once," said Mrs. Greg. "You're much too high." But before she could say another word. Philip and William had flown right out the window. Mister and Missus Greg ran to the window and looked out. The two tiny boys were now high up in the sky. Then Missus Greg said to Mister Greg, "Do you think we could do that, my dear?" "I don't see why not," Mister Greg said. "Come on, let's try." Mr. Greg began to flap his wings hard, and all at once up he went. Then Mrs. Greg did the same.